So mm -hmm. I, I want to show you uh, exactly why the hill country of Texas is so flood prone. Like I just said to Teresa, intense rainfall. It is not uncommon to see rainfall rates that can exceed two to four inches per hour sometimes five or six inches per hour. It's, it's an unfathomably heavy rain and that can trigger flash floods and it does trigger flash floods. You also have steep terrain in the hill country. Torrential rain that falls from these rainfall rates runs downhill very fast and overwhelms creeks and rivers abruptly. You also have soils that are not really good at absorbing moisture that falls. So all of that rain, this immense amount of rain that falls, well, has to go somewhere. The soil types in the area are sandy, clay and loam. This terrain really doesn't ab allow absorption of the rain very well, and so that leads to even faster runoff, and it all goes into area creeks and rivers. So that's why that area in, of the hill country here in Texas, very flood prone, and flood watches remain in effect for a good portion of the hill country into parts of central Texas and then farther to the south towards San Antonio through 10 p.m. You see this, this remnant storm system still bringing very heavy rain, and all these green polygons are flash flood warnings. It includes Travis County. We also have some up toward Hamilton as well. Again, rainfall rates have been excessive. If you look at the estimated rainfall through Thursday, you see some of these bullseyes of where some of this extremely heavy rain has fallen. And again, this is where the Guadalupe River is. There's Kerrville. Hunt is about right here and Camp Mystic is right here uh, where 10 to 12 inches of rain has fallen in Travis County, where there have been problems today. Uh, five to 10 plus inches of rain has fallen just to the northwest of Austin over toward Burnett down to Marble Falls, excessive rain in that area. Again, like I just showed you, coupled with that terrain is why we have these issues in the hill country. Widespread five to eight inch plus amounts have fallen and rain continues to fall this evening. As we go through the rest of tonight, showers and thunderstorms will continue to fall and dissipate in coverage tonight. So there'll be a little bit of relief. But as we get into tomorrow, the redevelopment of some heavy rain is expected. So more rain and some of that will be very heavy across the hill country tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. You see this is two o'clock in the afternoon Sunday. This might be a little bit farther to the west. So there's Bern, there's Fredericksburg. This will go a little bit farther west. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. But there is the potential for a little bit of flooding again tomorrow in the Texas hill country.